Many diseases cause impairments in the locomotor system. Strokes, which are constantly increasing due to the aging of the population, spinal cord injuries, which in recent years have gone from affecting mostly young people to affect older populations, or multiple sclerosis, which has seen an increase in its prevalence worldwide thanks to the increase in life expectancy, are just a few examples that are widespread in developed countries. All these impairments are the subject of laboratories across the globe in a multitude of research laboratories that are trying to design and define the robotic rehabilitation therapies of the future. Much of this research, related to the lower body, are conducted using the XOH3 exoskeleton. The XOH3 is a lower limb exoskeleton designed to provide scientists with a versatile tool to carry out their research in neurorehabilitation, motor rehabilitation, robotic control, human-machine interaction, and more. It has six lower limb joints actuated in the sagittal plane. It also counts with several sensors that allow real-time measurement of data, such as the interaction of the device with the human, the speed and exact position of each movement or the moment of pressure on the ground during the step. With the feedback of this data, the exoskeleton allows to modify the movement assistance and adapt it according to the wearer's needs. In addition, the XOH3 has other advantages such as a wide range of possible sizes, which allows a large sample of users in research trials, its easy and quick installation, and its low weight. All these described features provide direct advantages for researchers in the following areas. Clinical research, allowing the control of common tasks such as getting up, sitting, gait training with the exoskeleton, walking, stopping, varying assistance, and walking speed. All this through a simple Android application, which allows clinicians to focus on analyzing the subject's performance. Biomedical engineering. The device allows low-level control through position, speed, or interaction controllers. With the information obtained from integrated sensors or third-party equipment, it is possible to close control loops in real time. This allows the design of novel rehabilitation strategies through a suite of controllers made available to researchers this being the main value proposition of great potential provided by the XOH3. Finally, the device allows its integration with third-party equipment such as motion sensors, electromyography equipment, electroencephalography among others, and can also be controlled from the most used software by professional researchers such as MATLAB, Simulink, or ARAS. Join visionary scientists in their field who have already included our devices in their research routine all over the world. Uh, the Technic AX Skeleton, it, it provides a nice platform for that type of research because the control architecture is open. We, we use MATLAB as the software for developing our interface. And with MATLAB, we directly the, um, created a Bluetooth connection with the exoskeleton. And from there, we just send the commands. So our focus was only uh, about the different kind of control strategies. So the, the ankle uh, orthosis uh, was able to provide different kind of assistive uh, approach for the patients, considering their um, disability level and their uh, the stage of recovery. From a, a researcher point of view, having a platform like uh, like H3, like this platform, uh, is really useful because they can use that platform and apply on top of this platform their own control algorithm, for example, their own modification. Instead of starting from scratch, 